So the name of my poem is Intimacy. So here it goes. Intimacy goes beyond the physical nakedness. It's bearing of souls with hope of oneness. It's more profound than physical affection. It delves into reams beyond love's common perception. It's not limited to the secrets of night. A different kind of spark it ignites. A gentle kiss on the forehead takes precedence, surpassing the allure of bed's passionate presence. A warm, sucks, a warm snug embrace around the chest, a sensation that surpasses the rest. Tightly clasped hands assure, with you by my side, anything can be endured. Ears that listen without judgment leads to a sense of contentment. Someone feels you the way you wish to be felt. In intimate moments, animosities melt. Not just intertwining of legs in unity, but undressing your spirits, allowing authenticity. So one doesn't have to pretend. This is where the heart finds a mend. It's not just I see you, but also I feel you. You are the one I wish to hold on to. That's intimacy. So, thank you. That's one. And there is one more that I wrote today itself. It was a new kind of poem I tried. It's a dialogue of a person who fell in love in his teens and early 20s. And a dialogue that he's having with his um, infatuated love where it starts with how much I have loved you all through. It starts with sacrifice and eventually realizing the need for individuality. It's like a monologue or a dialogue between the two. And here it goes. I love you. If I told you I loved you, would you stay? Or would you get up and walk away? But hey, why can't you reciprocate the love I feel for you each day? If you truly wish, it can renew. You do you, no need to pretend, not clinging, just desiring an us without end. But hey, just tell me what's not working. I'll fix you. I'll fix what you consider a fault. I'll put my desires on hold. Focus on your needs and not my own. But let me know what's wrong and I'll address it head, head on. What do you mean it's not love? Hey, I'm sure it's love. It can't be any other way. When we first declared our love, it was 11-11 in time. I knew you would be forever mine. What do you mean that's not love? There is no self-respect and freedom. And that is a good enough reason for you to walk away. What can I say now that you are gone? Recognizing I clung too tightly to you. My happiness became reliant on your view. You became my need instead of my want. Lessons you were trying to teach were poignant all along. You advised me I must discover my identity, individuality, to love myself before embracing another's personality. It's only now I have started to love myself and feel belonged. I understand what I should have longed. With that, I love you even more, feeling no wrong. Thank you. That's it. <laughs> Amazing. Both the poetries uh, were amazing, actually. Matlab, your uh, uh, narration is so good. Your voice quality is so good. And your diction, everything was everything was flawless. <laughs> Matlab, jase parna ka gana was effortless and flawless. Na? <laughs> Similarly, your poetry was just amazing. Bahut, bahut so maza thank you. Thank you so much, <laughs> Gitika, for sharing. Both beautiful poetries. Parna? Thank you. Uh, I think uh, very complex subjects. Uh, of course, this is one, uh, you know, the subject, it's an inexhaustible topic, romantic love. Uske different angles and uh, perspectives and uh, different types. Uh, very complex aajki date mein bhi hai, and they make for some interesting study. And uh, I really liked the two studies that you captured. The two different, um, the different uh, complex emotions, I would say, of love. And I personally think, dono hi kafi, uh, uh, it's a new concept. I mean, aaj ki date mein bhi, uh, intimacy ko leke zada baate hoti nahi hai because people usually connect it to the physical aspect of love. But, uh, the, the whole, uh, emotional and mental aspect, that's way deeper than physical love. That has been very interestingly explored and, uh, I liked the second poem better though, 
बिकॉज मुझे वो पोएम अच्छा लगा इस वजह से बिकॉज यू यू लुक एट लव इवॉल्विंग ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम यू नो वेन यूर अ टीन एजर वर्सेज वेन यूर ट्वेंटीज एंड वेन यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट टू लव सम वन एल्स यू हैव टू फर्स्ट लव योर ओन सेल्फ दैट इज द बेसिक टेनेट ऑफ लविंग Um, and it has come through really well uh, in both your poems and and uh, ek aapne verse mein poetry kiya the other one was not all through verse it was yeah. i think a mix of both so style bhi acha hai aapka so good to hear that i really liked both your poems get to i thank hope you. we get to hear more of your poems thank you parna ranjit sorry mujhe zyada bol gayi but uh, yeah. no i i, I think uh, i also yeah i also relate to what parna said uh so it was complex topics but explored pretty simply in a very simple manner but i also what i liked is the fact that you uh, actually made an attempt to get a rhyming rhyme scheme in place you know nowadays people actually don't write poems with rhyme schemes uh you know when you say 11 11 11 and 11 in time and then you know, when you are actually trying to uh, make a new app to mind. think more exactly because you then have to think with a lot of choice of words you can't just right uh, there is a yeah. lot of flexibility when you don't think about a rhyming uh, the old william words were everyone are have written with so much rhyme sequences and it's great that you're there's someone still following it that is amazing niluji thank you uh, geetika both your uh, poems were uh, very well written and well expressed uh, you seem to be a romantic person and uh, i <laughs> could make out that uh, the crux of both the poems was that there comes a point in love where you don't need to say those uh, three powerful words i love you um, the intimacy comes and you start understanding and expressing through your um, actions or gestures so i love both the poems okay thank you thank you so much uh, kanchan is it i heard you for the first time live but it's really uh, not just the subject was difficult but i think this is the need of the hour that we should be able to express ourselves so i think you were able to express those feelings uh, which is much more than people understand so i think you did a good job to shake everyone's conservative thoughts look at from the different perspective and then realize in own life okay are you really thinking this way or you are still stuck in those physical aspects to find love in your life so awesome awesome thank you <laughs> thanks for your poetry thank you kanchan uh, vivek hey hi geetika it was really hi. i mean you know i mean for me it's really uh, i i really wonder like how people you know write <laughs> it's very i i i thought it it is very difficult to you know to get these words to you know and unko ek ek you know that mala mein pirona un unka ek kitna sundar version nikal ke leke aana and you you have done it really i mean i'm nobody to <laughs> uh, judge but it was really amazing i, I liked your poems uh, very much thank you vivek rajan Geetika ji, I'm listening for the second time, uh, and most probably, first of all, I would ask, "Ki are you in job or practice?" <laughs> <laughs> Because uh, the perspective, the visual perspective you take regarding the topic is uh, is so much different that sometimes I wonder how should, मतलब how can a person मतलब take such a view uh, on such a topic? So, काफी अच्छा लगता है सोच के और खासकर जब कोई when the सामने वाला person is at most, not at most, already in the same field. तो वैसे आप जॉब में की प्रैक्टिस वही मैंने था क्वेश्चन रिमेन सेम आई मीन जॉब ओके या ठीक है मतलब वर्क प्रेशर भी के साथ भी मतलब इट्स ज्यादा कमेंडेबल है ये तो भाई प्रैक्टिस होता है मतलब ठीक है मतलब भी रेगुलेट कर लिया और लेकिन दिस इज अ स्ट्रेस बस्टर राइट हां यस वेरी वेल सर थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच गीतिका थैंक यू